so hello everyone my name is ravindra and i welcome you to my youtube channel in our last video we see the microsoft flow types like what are the in this video we are seeing the built in connectors in the microsoft power automate flow so let's we go and understand okay first what are the types of connectors so there are four type of connectors that is available so first one is built in second one is standard third one is premium and fourth one is custom built in means those connector that is present by default from the microsoft ends standard connector are those connectors are used to integrate with microsoft services like excel microsoft forms notification outlook or sharepoint and the premium connector those okay who having this diamond symbol okay so those are the premium connector in simple ways so if you use this connector in your flow your power button flow will become premium and you need to pay the more amount and the last one is custom okay so if you are created a custom connector in your tenant or in your microsoft power platform environment so that custom connector we showcase in the custom tab so let's go and see the first built in connectors okay so if you see we have the ai builder control data operations date and time so all this connection we are seeing one by one so let's we go and first see the variables okay because each language each thing before we learn the to understand the variables okay how to use that it is important so let's go see and variables so once i click on the variables actions you can see we have the six types of variables present here okay so first one is append to array variable second one is append to string variable decrement variable increment variable and initialize variable and set variable so let's go and see this one by one so in the initialize variable okay whenever you want to create any variable in your power automate flow so in that case we will use this initialize variable action so let's create a one variable okay naming convention you can follow for the where and the variable that you have to use so where my first so where my first variable so let's go and see the types of the variable okay so we have the multiple types okay so that include boolean type of variable you can create you can initialize also integer float string object and array so let's go and for now let's initialize a integer variable simply and if you want to add some value here you can add it here okay so for now let's say add the value initial value to the one if you not add this okay like let's we run this power automate flow let's say so friends now you can see our variable value okay in the input we just provided this okay and in output section you can see we have the value as one okay so input section you can see from here okay and value is provided one so for initialize variable we not have the output property let's go and use the another action in the variables itself okay so let's go to the variables okay and now we have the set variable action okay so let's use this set variable action first we will whenever you want to use a variable first you need to initialize that okay this is the condition that we need to follow okay so now initially i set the with this variable value to one okay now i want to change that variable value okay like i had done some operation okay and now i want to make the that variable value to 10 so in that case we will set the value to the 10 okay and let's run this flow okay and let's see practically so let's go to the set action so set variable action having the two things okay 
input and the output so if i click on the input so the previous value is one only okay so now we change that value to the 10 you can see it here that same variable value we have changed whenever you have to change the variables value in that case we'll use the set variable now let's go and use one more action that is let's go to the variables we have see the set okay then we have the decrement variable increment variable so let's this two c okay so for that purpose we need to initialize one more variable with type an array so let's we use here where array okay boolean type array array is represented in the square bracket and let's use here one two three four and five so this is just a table you can assume and if you want to perform the operation okay on the some table so let's we see this okay how to use decrement and increment thing so let's i go in the variable action let's use your decrement variable okay let's select the variable name and the value here okay so i will use our first variable initialize one okay so our variable value is set to the 10 okay let's i set to the one single and let's we go to the decrement variable if we add that by minus one so this value will reduce by one okay so let's we try this okay let's run so if you see our variable value is now set to the two after subtracting from this okay now if you want to perform the operation in the loop okay so in that case also we can use these variables okay decrement increment so let's i go in the control section whenever we have to use in the loop section we use this apply to each control we'll coming to this control as well okay but for now let's you assume to do the for all operation in the power automate we use their apply to each action and let's we go here use where array okay to apply to each we need to always give an array object okay so it will work in the loop format so that's why we are created an array variable and use it here in the decrement variable what we will do we will use here plus <coughs> one simply okay and now in the set variable we will set our variable value to the 10 and let's see what's happening okay let's we go in the test let's manually run this so in our array we have the five object so that's why this action run five type okay so first in the first row okay if you see the output value is nine okay and if i go in the second run so now our value is decreased by one okay eight and so on okay like if we go to the last action and see the output here so it is now five so in this case we increment and decrement variable we use okay so now if you go and see in the variables section okay let's i use here go to the variable we have the two more types okay that is append to array variable and append to string variable okay so let's use this append to array variable okay so this is our variable okay one two three four five if you want to add some element in this array okay like five okay after the five i, I want to add one more time one 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 five times okay so in the loop whenever we have to perform okay whenever we have to add an object okay in the loop so in that case we use our append to array variable so let's go select the array just click on the we are adding here one let's click on the test and let's so now if you see our action is run okay 
once i go to this action okay append to array we if you want to see we need to add one more action so at the end we will go here okay at the bottom and we will use here set action this time where array and we will use here the or where array action itself okay and let's run this time manually so we can see this apply to array action means this entire array outside the variable okay so to variable we can't set so compose is a placeholder we are using this and in our next video we are also seeing this as well so let's we take this for now so you can identify so our flow is run okay let's we go and see in the apply to each so if you go in the input section okay so here you can see one to five is present after five the five times one is added means we are appended that thing okay one 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 in the our array simply a push and pull method that we are doing in the any language okay like javascript python that action we have done here friends okay let's we go and see the one more action we have okay append to string here so let's we go and use this append to string for that purpose we need to create an initialize first variable so let's we go initialize variable so let's use this name to the var name okay and let's select the type to the string here and let's i use here name my name ravindra okay so i want to add this uh one more string okay like i want to add these uh, items okay like if you see in this we have one to five i want to add one two three four five after the ravindra's name so how we can do that so for that purpose we can use the append to string variable okay and the value we can simply use here how much time we need to append if you want to append the current item so in that case we simply use the item question mark only item can also be used okay let's click on the add item means this row it is representing okay let's we go click on the test here manually when test let's i go to the last action also to see this okay we need to use this variable outside the loop okay so in the compose let's see so compose is now present so if you see friends the uh, string is appended with ravindra 1 2 3 4 5 so in this way we use the variables if you have any question any doubt in the variables part okay please let me know in the comment box we are seeing multiple examples in our upcoming video okay so please keep in the touch okay if you are not subscribe to the channel please subscribe to the channel as well and keep learning keep growing keep excelling Thank you friends have a nice day to you